Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. I want to talk to you about safe isolation. Okay, I know it's boring sometimes to hear about health and safety, but safe isolation can keep you alive. All right, that's what it's all about, staying alive. So here you can see I've switched off this unit and removed the fuse. That's one form of safe isolation. See the boots I've got on? Make sure you've got rubber sole boots. Notice there's no mat here underneath the panel, watch out. There's a reason why there should be a mat there. This is how you get in underneath here into a control panel without turning the power off. You press underneath here and then you need a little key, like one of these panel keys here. But when you do go in the panel, be careful because anything above 400 volts is likely to do some serious damage. Even 230 volts. You see these lock-off kits here? Make use of them. You see this lock-off kit? When you turn something off, aim to padlock it or use one of these locks here to do so and label it. It's all there for a reason because people have lost lives or had life changing accidents. So also try to also have more than one point of isolation. So go on the panel, switch it off, go to the appliance, switch it off because mistakes can happen. I love this multimeter. Check that the leads are fully in. Yeah. Check your leads are not damaged. Check that your unit is working. This is me doing my little bleep test to make sure that it is actually operating. There's other tools for checking things as well. Have backups. You see, I've got two volt sticks here side by side. There's been times when my multimeter has not been working. And thankfully, my volt stick has helped me. So check for a known source first. Look at these loose wires. You see any wires like that? Try and deal with them or report it. Yep, I've got power here. Both volt sticks are lighting up. So this is an approved voltage indicator. This is me testing my approved voltage indicator. And on a proven unit, yeah, it's working. This is me checking that my multimeter is working can you see 247 volts dc so another thing is you have your warning notes that you should use as well all right we're going into our panel try and wear gloves when you're in the panel i'm going to go for a list of the 10 point isolation test so i'm going to show you here we go so i'm going to do my first checks okay i'm going to take my ring off try to wear gloves when you're doing this so here we go I've got live one to live two, 417 volts. That's the first test. Live two to live three, 422 volts. So we've got live two to live three done. Live one to live three, 421 volts. So we've done our lives, or should I say our lines? That's what you should call them, lines rather than live. Okay, we're gonna check an earth to live one, live two and live three. So we've got our earth up there and we're checking to live one. Earth to live one, 241 volts. Earth to live two, 241. So that's done, earth to live two. Earth to live three. Two hundred and forty one volts. Now what's next? We're gonna do our neutrals now. The last four tests. So where's our neutral? Underneath here on the right. So we've got neutral to earth because earth is still connected up there. So that one's done. Now we've just got neutral to live one, neutral to live two, neutral to live three. So I'm not doing safe isolation here. I'm just checking the voltage on them. But when you're doing safe isolation and the power's off, you should be checking what I've just shown you. I obviously, I obviously can't turn the power off to this building. So I've got here neutral to live one. And what do I have? I've got 240 volts. Because I can't turn the power off in this building, because it's quite important, I'm not going to do the safe isolation test. I'm showing you how to do it if the power was off. So I've got neutral to live three. Neutral to live two and three, and we are done there. I'm going to check now 
that my equipment was working. Great. So remember to use your safety equipment. Be careful. Even though you may not see people dying or hear of people dying, it happens. Take it easy. Be careful. Don't take any chances, please. Please leave comments in the section below to experiences you've had with electric. Take it easy, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye-bye.